Hello everyone. This video is about programming the money flow indicator, the RSI and moving average for a trading robot or trading expert advisor. I'll be going through step by step and how to do this. So let's begin. So first off guys, please open up MetaTrader 4 and go to this window here. This is your meta quotes. Please go here, click F4. It should bring up a window that looks like this. First thing off guys, we go to new. And then go to expert advisors. We type in this expert advisor name, we call it the money flow RSI and moving average trader. Now with this one guys, we will be entering buys and sells. Hit next, hit finished. And if you have a screen that looks like this, now I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger for you guys. Here's the navigator. So this is our screen to how it looks, okay? And we're gonna be looking at the top. We're gonna be looking on the on tick section, okay? And our first thing is guys, we need to uh, create our indicators. So the first indicator we're gonna create is the RSI. Here's our RSI guys. I'm gonna break that down in detail. First off, we're gonna create a double. Now a double is gonna basically read out a non-whole number, like 0 0.002 or 1.678. Our next thing is gonna be naming this uh, indicator. I'm gonna call it RSI current, basically reading the current bar. We're gonna use the equal sign right here, and we're gonna use this IRSI. Now that's gonna to read to the MetaTrader that's gonna uh, basically create this indicator. Now we're gonna run it on null. Now if you guys wanna know what RSI or null means, just double click it and hit F1. You guys should get a screen like this, and this will basically read it out. So we're looking at on null, so it's gonna work on all currency pairs. It's available for the broker. And if you guys want more details, guys, just press F1 and or uh, pause the screen and read it in detail. We're gonna break this down. Our first thing is gonna be a zero. And th what that means is gonna work on a default time frame. So if you try to change it to the one hour, two hour, or one hour, four hour, the daily, it's gonna automatically update for that instead of being stuck to a time. Now here's our period. Now our period, what that means is what, how many counts it's gonna scan through. And this is gonna be 14. And our next one is gonna be applied price. We're gonna make it zero and it's gonna run off the current candle. Now we're gonna create the same indicator, but one back. Once again, we're gonna use double. I'm gonna make it RSI underscore one, and it's gonna be RSI, null, and everything the same, but for the shift value, we're gonna make it a one. Now let's look at how that looks on MetaTrader, okay? So we're gonna go through the RSI. We're gonna add it to our chart right here. See how the RSI period is at 14. You guys can change the colors or move the little the values for either the 30 or the 70. You guys can modify it if you like. But this is a beginner video. And you can see that this, uh, here's our RSI. Let me uh, move it up a little bit higher. You guys can see. Here's our RSI. You guys see this little barrier line. It's our 70 and it's our 30. And typically we want it, you know, look for overbought or oversold conditions when it comes to this indicator. Let's move on to our money flow indicator. Once again, we're gonna be looking at meta quotes, okay? Here's money flow, it's a volume indicator and it's commonly paired up with the RSI. So we're gonna start off with the double and the name of the indicator, so we call it money flow current. And we're gonna use this preset uh, information, it's gonna be I, MFI. We're gonna use null like I previously stated before and zero is gonna be the default. Well, I'm sorry, work on whatever time frame is going to be. And our period is going to be 28. That means it's going to run through 28 different candles and it's going to run on, uh, we're going to get the indication off of the current candle. Now we want the indication one back for this uh, trading robot. It will be money flow one right here, guys. Same exact thing, but change this to from current to one and this number from one. And our next thing is going to be our moving average. And now it's gonna be breaking down the money flow. Let's see how it looks in the trader, okay? So go to your navigator window and find your money flow. It should be already on your MetaTrader. 
All right, here's our money flow, and here is some of the breakdowns. Here's our period, we put 28. Now you guys can change your guys' color scheme, your maximum and minimums. And this is how it looks right here, guys. You can see that it has a zero value up to 100. You have your 50, which is your middle. And if it goes up to X point, we're gonna be buying or selling, or go down here, you're gonna be buying or selling. For this indicator, we'll be buying and for this trading rule, but we will be buying and selling. I'll be breaking that more into detail. Now let's head back to meta quotes and let's add our moving average. Uh, here's our double, always have that out. Our moving average current, that's the name of this indicator. We're going to be using IMA, null, like I talked about previously. And here, guys, let's break this down, read it. Uh, we're going to use zero for the time frame, 50 for the moving average period. So it's going to scan through 50 different candles. And for a M our INT MA shift, we're going to use zero. And we're going to use the enum value one, which I'll break that down in a second when we go back to the trader. And also, we're going to use zero for the applied price and we'll apply shift zero. Now, we're going to create a indicator, same moving average, but one back, same exact name. Uh, I, instead of current, just change it to one. And for the bottom, for the shift, make it a one. Okay. Let's go back to MetaTrader. And here you go, right here. Let's look at how it should look in detail for a moving average. Just go to your navigator window, select it. We're going to use 50. And for this MA method, you guys can select zero for simple one for exponential, two for smooth, or three for linear weighted, and you can put that in the code. I'm using exponential for this one right here, and this is how it should look. This moving average is the goal. Let's head back to meta quotes, and you can see that I chose one right here for exponential. Now I'm gonna be getting into the requirements for the entry for the buy. Now we're gonna make our bull statement basically reading true or false, and we're going to be naming that bull statement by entry requirements. Now, you guys can change it up to any settings that you desire. But this is just a basic beginner video for EA trading. Okay. So RSI current. So we scroll to the top. We see our RSI current value. Once that is a greater than or equal to 70. And the RSI back greater than or equal to 70. These will be equals true. Our next thing is our money flow current. If it's greater than or equal to 50, that also equals true. And if the money flow current one, I mean one back, if that equals true, then we'll continue on. And if the if the ask price is greater than or equal to than the current moving average and one candle back, if that's true, then our buy entry requirements should equal true, and then it should initiate our trade. But before we get to that, I'm gonna get into the sell requirements. So first off, we're going to do a bull statement like we did in the previous uh, bull st uh, statement. We're going to be looking at a sell entry requirements. And for this one, we're going to have the RSI below or equal to 30. The RSI one back below or equal to 30. Our money flow below or equal to 50 and one back. Now let's get into creating our if statements to be entering our trade. So first off, guys, we have our buy statement here. We have our statement here. When it comes to entering a trade, we have the if, basically, if this is true, orders, uh, basically, orders total. So basically, you can hit F1 to read it. But it's going to basically say uh, total orders that are open, it should be equal to zero. And that's, that double equal means just to verify if it's true or not. So it's going to verify if there's no orders open and buy requirements equal, equals true. And if these two things, then if we should initiate our trade, let's break that down a little bit more. We're going to do an int. So basically it's going to read as a whole number and we're going to call it a buy order. Now we're going to do order send. Now you guys want some more details, press F1 while select, you know, at select and hit F1 and you can read more details, but we're going to be putting a null on default and we're gonna do op buy so that's gonna be an instant execution buy our next thing is gonna be our lot size our lot size is going to be 0 0.01 and we're gonna run it on the price of the ass and our slippage we just want one 
Now, when it comes to our stop loss, guys, our stop loss is going to be ask minus 0 0.30. Now, I'm, we're going to be working on my favorite uh, currency pair, would be pound yen, and it's going to be about 30 pips. And our target profit is going to be the ask plus 1.5, which is about 150 pips. And our comet, we want to leave it as null, means it's not going to be there with no comet. And our magic number is zero. And since this is an instant execution trade, we don't need an expiration uh, time. Basically, that's for pending orders. And if you use a pending order, uh, like a buy stop or a buy limit or sell stop or sell limit, then you're going to need to put that in there to manage that trade. Next thing we're going to need is the print order. So when we enter our trade, we're going to use buy order what has been opened. And that's what we have for our uh, situation when it comes to reading. Now let's do the exact same thing for our sell order, okay? Now their sell order is going to be exact same thing. Orders total equals zero and sell requirements equals true. Equals true. Now everything's going to be about the same when it comes to the sell order. We need the int, the name of the order, but a few differences like OP sell 0 0.01, our bid, our slippage right here, our bid again. We're going to be having our stop loss above the entry because we're, you know, obviously selling. I'll be plus 0 0.30. Our bid minus point or minus our bid will be 1.5, and uh, that'll be 150 uh, pips. And we're going to be bid null zero zero, and our order is going to be clear orange. You guys can color change the color to anything you want: color red or orange. It's up to you. But we'll leave it back to orange, okay? And when that initiates, we're going to be print order has now we're gonna hit compile to see if it runs and there's no errors and now let's get back to the web chart uh, now let's get back to MetaTrader. now we open up our chart guys and we will go to our money flow rsi ma trader have it on pound yen since i coded it for this pound yen and it's my favorite currency pair we'll also use it on these time frames you guys can decide what time frames you desire but before we start, we want to make it kind of slow so it doesn't come on speeding up. I'm going to use it on the 30 minute on the, and the spread's going to be current. And all you have to do, guys, is hit start after that. Now, I hit pause, guys, to keep it uh, from moving. All you need to do prior to making it going, guys, is hit the double arrow and move the slide to the furthest right position. But before I do that, we're going to change up some properties to make it uh, easier to be seen. And we're going to change the candlesticks. So now, guys, we're going to let, I'm going to let it run. And you can see that every time the trade enters, it hit those requirements. And we can see that this trade has been initiated various amount of times i just sped it up guys you guys can see it happening from here or we can stop it you can see that the values how it enter the trade you can see right here now this is not meant to make profit or make a lot of money just showing you how to program with these indicators and to understand the basic use of, of a basic use of expert advisors okay so let's run it again a little bit uh, slower You can see that it's entering orders. Now, if you guys wanted to see it on a very different view, you guys can hit pause and hit and change it up to white and also go through here. You can see that it's been entering orders. Now, you guys can reverse it for either buying or selling. Just change up the positions of the uh, bull statements. This is showing you get an example of how to enter an exit. Now, it's not meant to make a lot of money or be profitable. Just showing you how to use these expert advisors, okay? Now, this is a basic setup, guys. If any questions or comments, let me know in the description, I'm sorry, in the comments section. I'll have, I'll, we can talk about this and how it works. And also, this will be on my website in the MQL4, MQL5 section so you guys can learn more about it. And if you guys want to hit me up on Telegram, please do. You can see that the indicator is functioning. And if we let it go on full speed, it finished. And let's see how the indicator did so far. Uh, so it made about 400 and
464 trades with a profit about $32. So it is an, it is what it is when it comes to this. I'm not saying it's the best thing to trade, but just showing you guys an option and how to use these indicators. So any questions or comments, guys, hit me up on Telegram or in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.